So does that mean if someone went to, let's say, live scan, like they were a teacher or a notary, mm -hmm. their fingerprints would still be in this database? Absolutely. Okay. I'm in there many times. Right. Many, 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 many times. And so if whoever this person was that was at that step, they would be able to access sort of this big brother of fingerprints? Well, you have to be in law enforcement to, uh, to get into code. Uh, APHIS, sorry, uh, Automated Forensic uh, Indexing, I forget the S. So, but it's, it's, it's run by the, uh, from the FBI. So what if somebody did a DIY fingerprints with scotch tape? Does that work? Yeah. Have you ever, okay, so that's Oh, that oh God, yeah, please, my kids do it. I go, here, go like this. And they're like, because that's getting the, the I always say when, when doing a, needing a print, run your, your hair, your fingers through your hair, because then you get the protein and the sweat and all that stuff on there, and then stick it. You get a much better print. It develops better for you, if, if you will. And the, and the glue acts as a, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, acts as a developer. Um, so that the the or the, not the glue, but the, uh, the 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 stickiness of the tape would adhesive. act as, would act the adhesive. That's the word I'm looking for. Would act as a developer. So if you do this the sticky thing, you're going to find a, a really good print. But getting that dusted and and into a database, many 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 steps. So what what would a MacGyver of fingerprints? <laughs> do let what are some some diy tips if we were going to show that in a script or an actor was going to play that besides the scotch tape what are some other little homemade things they could do super glue fuming they did it in beverly hills cop 2 for those of you who that remember that um where generally you have a tank because you need the fumes a, a super glue fuming you have a heating element um i use a coffee mug uh, soup heater um and i put stuff into a little metal what would I call it? A cupcake holder. Uh, try to get aluminum if you can. Smart and final. Drop, th pour a few drops in. Place your suspect um, uh, evidence close to it. Turn on the heater, cover it. It could be a terrarium. It could be, I, I'm just using a plastic box at home. Um, it was a, you know, 396 at Walmart. It's no big deal, it's about yay big, just so it is a, a chamber, if you will. Oh. Turn the heat on and then let the fumes do their thing. It takes five, 10 minutes, um, unlike in the movies where it takes 30 seconds. But the process will, div it, the, the super glue, for whatever reason, adheres to the proteins in the fingerprint. And you can do it on a Coca Cola bottle, on, an, on, on tin cans, and pretty much anything that's uh, non porous. I say non-porous because if it has holes in it, that you're going to have gaps in your in your in your prints. So that's one one thing, and that's the biggest one is super glue fuming. I, I do that in my in my workshops. Let's see what else would I have. Footprints. You can you can develop footprints. We have in forensics we have knowns and unknowns, and then, and we can, can compare those things. We're always looking for patterns. That's what we do in forensics. Everything is patterns. Does this pattern match this pattern? Does this fingerprint match this fingerprint that I have on paper? If it does, you've got to match. And you can go, okay, this is John Doe. For, you know, look for him in the rogues gallery, find out where he is, locate him, all, you know, book him, Dano, all that fun stuff. Um, but with the, the footprints, we can look at the wear and tear on the shoes. Are, did they walk on their sole? Did they walk on their arch? That doesn't help you with your with, with finding the person, but it sure helps with a victimology or, or with a, a, profi a, a criminal profiling, particularly for novels and things like that. Oh, you know, he had a limp and stuff like that. The bushy-haired man with the limp from The Fugitive. Um, but you can actually compare, you can tell this is Nike, this is Adidas, because they have very distinct treads on the bottom of the shoes. So that's something you can do at home. Just take it, if you want, uh, grab a uh, an ink blotter and just go t -t 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 on the shoe and put it on a linoleum or even a piece of paper. Um, it's, it's enough to get the idea of how you can play with this. And this is something I would even tell actors that we had mentioned in a previous segment. I would tell actors, play with this stuff. It, this is how you do, how you learn, how you understand things rather than just going, okay, I read a script and they say do this, do this. This is how you truly understand and take it to heart. So going back to that theoretical, you know, set with the young police officer actor, 
they won't be the ones actually collecting the prints. They would secure the crime scene, they would wait, and then they would wait for this criminologist to come? Criminalist. Criminalist, I'm sorry. Criminologist would be somebody who studies crime. <laughs> okay, sorry. So criminalist yes. would come and they would do the dusting and yes. they would, okay, great. They would not, the police officer would not do it themselves. Well, as you set it up, as a first responder, yes, their job is to maintain integrity of the scene. The, the ME would take care of the body and the criminalists would take care of the rest of it. Criminalists aren't even allowed to touch the ME and, and get fingerprints, I mean, allowed to touch the body. Um, they have to wait for the ME before they can print, uh, uh, get prints off of the, the, of the decedent as well. ME has massive range. They have their own investigative squads too, the, uh, the ME's office. If you read uh, Patricia Cornwall novels, um, she talks very much about having a, a team and going out and, and doing stuff like that. 